Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number 14, I've decided to talk about hover states in Adobe Muse, or you can call them uh, rollover effects as well. Um, now, I still get asked this question quite a few times, you know, how do I create a rollover effect or how do I change the state when I hover over an image? How do I change it to another image? Um, so here we're using a few different examples. So here I have uh, some Photoshop files. So we're going to be using Photoshop and Illustrator files. So when I hover my mouse over it, it changes the image. Here I have a few Illustrator images. We have Santa. Uh, Christmas is coming soon, so I've decided to use Santa. And he's kind of using a surfboard there. But I've just changed the character for these uh, different uh, elements here. So when I hover over, we have that there. And I'm using the animator widget uh, to add a little bit more of an effect when you hover over these characters here. And then you can simply change the color of an element when uh, rolling over or hovering over the element. So in this quick tip, we're gonna go over how to do this. So I'll get started. Um, I'll just create a new site. So I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. Uh, now the first thing with all of these examples, I'm using a rectangle. So you wanna go to the rectangle tool here to the left, and I'll zoom in here to the rectangle tool. And then you just want to create a rectangle. I'm going to create a perfect square by holding down shift and I'm going to do a 300 by 300 uh, rectangle. Uh, now I'll open up the Photoshop file because the first thing we're going to do is work with the Photoshop file. So here um, I have this Photoshop file and here I'm just going to click cancel there. Um, and here I have a few different uh, layers. So I have four layers with different images. So if I select them, we have that image, we have this image. Uh, this image and this image. So in my Photoshop file, um, I have four layers. And if you're working with your own Photoshop file, um, you can use any any of the images on each of the layers uh, for the different hover states. And I'll show that uh, in Adobe Muse. So I'll go into Muse. Here I'll click on the rectangle. Uh, then I'll go to Fill right up here in the upper toolbar. I'll click on Fill. And let me zoom in here as well. And here we want to click on Add Image. So I'll zoom out. And then I want to click the hover example.psd. This is the file that I just opened and I had saved it earlier. So it's called hover example. So I'll double click. And then we get these options here. So we can import composite image, which is the entire image as it is with all the layers in Photoshop, or we can import a layer. So I'm going to import this first layer here, the Muse for You logo, and I'm going to clip to layer contents. For this, I don't really have to uh, because it's a perfect square, but let's say you had um, an element that wasn't. Uh, a perfect square or was within a larger artboard, you could clip it to that specific element. Uh, so here I'll click OK. And there I have the image in there. So I'll do scale to fill and I'll position it in the center. Or actually, yeah, I'll do scale to fill for this one. And now what I want to do is go to the states panel right up here. And I'll zoom in and I want to click on normal. And I want to click on rollover. So now I'm on the rollover state. So I'm going to zoom out. And now I can change the image for the rollover state. So I'll go to fill image hover example uh, i'll select the hover example again and then i'll click on import layer and i'll select uh, another layer here so this is uh we'll do this one here so we have this layer here and i'll click clip to layer contents and i'll click ok so there i have the image for the rollover state and the normal image so if i go to the uh the states panel right up here we can see the normal image is is that image and the rollover image is this image and then we have these features here that are that came came with the newer versions of Adobe Muse, we can fade it, we can set the duration, uh, excuse me, we can set a delay or duration to the fade. And we can say linear ease, ease in, ease out, or ease in out. I want a nice smooth ease in and out. So I'll select ease in out. So now if I go to file preview page and browser, and I hover over that image, it changes just like that. Looks good. And if I roll out, it changes back to the normal state. All right, looks good. So let's do that one more time. I'm just gonna copy this uh, this image here and I'm gonna go to the states panel up here in the upper left, click down normal, I'll click on rollover. Then I'll go to fill, click on image, click on hover example again, import layer and I'll import this image here, clip to layer contents and I'll click okay. So just like that, go to file preview page and browser. So now if I hover over, it changes state. Um, it should be easing out as well. So 
let's see fade I uh, got it yeah rollover so you want to change the states as well or if you want to add fade you need to add them for, for the different states as well so let me preview again so now there's the image I roll out and it fades out as well looks good so just like that you can change the the rollover state for different images all right, so let's move on to the characters. So here in my finder, I have a few different Adobe stock uh, images. So I'll double click on this one. And what's great about uh, working with these Illustrator files is that you can now add them to your CC libraries. So I'm gonna go into my CC libraries, which are right over here. And it has this symbol here. If you don't see your CC libraries, you can go to window and click on CC libraries or libraries right here. So I'm gonna create a new library actually so we can kind of start fresh. So I'll call this a uh, hover, hover example. Okay, and now I'm gonna click on uh, this orange here. I'm gonna right click, add to library, and it adds it to this hover example library. And then I want this image here. So I'm gonna click on it, right click, and add to library. So just like that, I have those two images. So I'll go back into Muse, and I'll create a rectangle, or a perfect square that's 300 by 300. Looks good, so there I have the rectangle. So now I wanna to go to my CC libraries. I wanna to go to the hover example library. And here for the first image on the normal state, I wanna select this, uh, this image here. So I'm gonna right click and click on set as fill with this rectangle selected. Um, so I'll go, yeah, the rectangle was selected first, then I right clicked and set as fill. So here I'm gonna to go to fill. Um, actually, let me click on the rectangle. I'm gonna to go to fill. Uh, scale to fit for this one and I'm going to position it in the center. So there we have the normal state of the uh, the rectangle. So now I'll go to the states panel and I'll select rollover and then I'll right click and it, on this second image here, art, artwork 2, right click and set as we have to click on the rectangle here. Um, and go to the states panel, click on rollover, right click or right click, yeah, and then set as fill. All right, there we go. So I'll do it one more time in case that wasn't clear. Uh, but here we have the normal state and the rollover state is this here. So if I preview, I'll go to file, preview page and browser. There we have the rollover state and the normal state. So we have this little kind of animation of the character jumping just like that. And to add a bit more effect, I'm gonna bring in the animator widget uh, found at museforyoushop.com. I'm gonna type in animator. I'm gonna bring in the add first just like that, and then I'll bring in the on hover. So when we hover, I want the this element to animate. Um, so for the hover animation, I'm gonna select uh, ta-da, or let's do, um, yeah, let's do swing. And then the graphic style name is animate one, so I just have to click on this rectangle, go to my graphic styles panel. If you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles. And then I'll go to this little icon here that looks like a piece of paper just right there and then I'll double click on this new style and I'll call this animate one to match the widget in here. So now because this element has the graphic style name animate one applied to it, uh, it's going to use the animation that is in the animator. So I'll go ahead and go to file, preview page and browser. When I hover, he swings and changes. So we have a nice little animation there. Okay, so I'll bring in Santa. We'll do this one more time with uh, Santa. So I'll double click on the Adobe stock, click yes. So here I'll select this Santa, I'll right click, add to library, and then I'll do the Santa with the surfboard. So I'll right click, or I'll click on the Santa, right click, and add to library, just like that. So I'll go to Muse. I'll actually just copy this one, just like that and then we just have to change the image. So we're on the normal state here, so let me go to the CC libraries, and here I wanna click on this Santa. Uh, I wanna right click and set as fill. So now the Santa is, for the, uh, is set for the normal state. Then I'll go to the rollover state, and I'll click on this Santa, right click, and set as fill. Just like that, and then we'll give the Santa a different animation. So I'll just copy the animator widget. I'll give it an instance number two, graphic style name animate two, and then we'll have him bounce, bounce in up on rollover or on hover. So I'll click on the rectangle, go to graphic styles, create a new graphic style panel and call this animate two. So because in this widget, it's animate two. So we've assigned the graphic style name animate two to this element. So let's see how that looks. 
there we go so with this Santa the, the effect is a little bit too much so I'm going to just do something simple like bounce in that's the one I meant to do there because if you have the bounce in up it kind of goes off the cursor and then there we go so you want the, the animation to kind of be in place there all right looks good so there we have different hover states for these elements and the last thing I'll do uh, real quick is just some simple colors so I'll create a 300 by 300 uh, right here we'll say 300 by 300 and for the normal state I'll just go to my CC libraries and I'll change it to this color then I'll go to the states panel so as you can see we're using this panel a lot let me go here we're using the states panel right up here in the upper left um, so here I'll go to rollover and I'll do uh, this color here and you can even do mouse down states mouse down states so when the user clicks uh, something else happens as well so there I have the different states I have normal rollover and mouse down I'll do a fade we'll do ease and out for each of these looks good they all have the fade so I'll preview in the browser and just like that there we go we change color and if I click it changes color as well okay so I'll do that one more time copy and paste and then I'll change the normal state color to blue the rollover state to green and the mouse down to dark blue so if I roll over ch changes to green down state is dark blue so we have different colors there you can also do an active state for instance if this was linked to an anchor and someone clicked on it um, it could change to an active state as well uh, but normal and rollover are usually the ones you'll use if you want a hover or a rollover effect for your elements or images so I'll go ahead and preview one more time in the browser for these first two we used a Photoshop file and we imported the layers from Photoshop this one we used illustrator and CC libraries looks good I'd probably make a dark background here for Santa because part of his hat kind of blends into the background because it's white but there we go we use the animator widget to animate these uh, elements on rollover and then we just use the normal and rollover state here for the colors as well as the mouse down state so that's it for this quick tip uh, hover states in Adobe Muse um, yeah you can use Photoshop Illustrator or just uh, any elements on your Adobe Muse website and you'll be using the the uh, states panel right up here quite a bit so we can see normal rollover mouse down active and then you can change the transition you can have a fade transition and set the speed and the duration and the delay here all right so that's it for this video tutorial again i do this to help you build awesome websites without code uh, if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you